Greetings from the past. I'm Sporknator, and welcome back to Mario Golf for the Game Boy Color. It's time to finish up the Marion Club Tournament. In the last episode, we did the first nine holes. Now we're doing the back nine. The front nine and the back nine. That's what they're called in golf. I'm not making this up. I'm actually filling you in on trivia here. So anyway, let's take this shot and hope the wind doesn't blow our ball way off course. So yeah, this is hole 10 through 18. The last nine holes. And our score is pretty good so far. I even got an eagle in the last episode, which is freaking amazing. I actually forgot to make a save state after I ended this last recording, but... I haven't needed them yet, so everything's fine so far. No cheating, no re-records, everything has been done on the first take. Which is nice, that's how I do most of my Let's Plays, actually. It's usually first take is the best take. With some except some exceptions. I think during Battles on 98 Redux, I think I failed a couple of the missions unexpectedly and had to re-record them. Of course, I mentioned that in my commentary, too, so... Anyway, fourth shot is a par. I didn't do very well here, but that's okay. As long as we never get a bogey, we'll be fine. Because a bogey will actually undo one of our birdies in terms of our score. It'll make our score go back up, which is bad because... I may have touched on this before, but low scores are good in golf. Fewer strokes is better. So let's hit the ball once again, and... Off it goes. It's being pushed down by an 8 mile an hour wind, so it's going to come up a bit short. Just a few yards short. But that's okay. Can we reach the green? We cannot. Not with that lead area, and not with that attitude. Jeez, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna play it safe and go here. Cause even if it comes up short, like really short, it should still land on the fairway, and that's what we want. Cause it's a lot harder to hit from the rough or the sand traps, the bunkers, as they're called. So far, I've been pretty good at sticking to the fairways. The other courses make this more difficult, though. Oh, just you wait. We're gonna have a ton of fun with that later on, I bet. Okay, no, don't go too far, don't go too far, don't go too far. Huh, nice. Excellent, in fact, it says excellent when you have an approach that good. Alright, just a teeny little tappy tap, and it's in. Just a little tappy tap, not too hard now, just a little tap. I love tap. Anyway, I'm getting crazy with my voice again. I suppose some people like that, though. As the entertainment value, I guess. Going crazy in golf. Okay, so this looks like it's going to come up short, right? But there is a six mile an hour wind, so... How accurate actually is that? Well, now it's really going to come up short, because I didn't hit it full power like I wanted to. So I can see why that landed in the rough. Oh well, live and learn, baby. There we go. Ooh, what? It's not in yet? Man, I thought I had that too. Oh shoot, what did I do? Well... I don't want the bogey. So to show you how this works, I can actually save and quit. And it will let me restart the hole when I load up my save game. By the way, when we beat putts, we unlocked him so we can play as him if we want. But only in practice rounds and training. That's all we have. You can't enter tournaments as putts or anything. Anyway, back to the game. I messed up the first shot the last time I did this, so this time... I'd rather just undercut the higher iron or whatever. I'd almost rather overshoot the green a tiny bit. I STILL CAME UP SHORT WITH THE HIGHER CLUB?! Okay, that's weird to me. Don't know why that is. And in this shot, I messed up by pressing the button too many times, so I didn't even reach the meat area. Oh well, I'll take par, that's better than what I had last time. I'm not restarting this again! That would just be way too picky. Oh, but there are tournaments later on that I only managed to beat on the Game Boy by saving and quitting a lot whenever things didn't go well. Oh man, I don't know how that's gonna go in my playthrough for this. I just hope I never actually have to save. I hope I just manage to pull it off in one clean run. I think that's something I've never actually managed to do, so this Let's Play could end up being a disaster. Just like all my other Let's Plays, but I'm joking, of course. Here we go. That should be pretty accurate. Just gotta perfect the sh That's not a perfect shot, Lemon. You messed up- you messed it up. Oh, you know what? It's a flat putt. It's a freebie. I'm okay. Everything is fine. I think I remember this green from the match game. Same thing happened last time, too. Boom. Free birdie. I'm at minus nine, and putts is minus one. I am killing him in the tournament. Ooh, this got a really strong sideways wind. So I think I'll aim right about there. Ah! Oh, I hate it when I screw up the shot. It's like, I thought I had the timing right, and then I don't. It's like, sometimes I'm good, sometimes I'm bad. 
I'm not even sure what I'm doing wrong. Oh shoot, is there a tree in my way? Ah, oh, crap. That's not gonna work. We'll have to gauge the wind anyway, right? Might be able to get away with that. Jeez. Oh! I screwed up the shot again! I didn't nail either either end, like the with the power or the control. I messed up both ends of the shot. Gosh, I hate that. Let's see if we can redeem it though. Let's redeem it with a nice chip in oh. I went way too far. Way too far, but I will still take par. That's fine. You don't lose anything when you get a par. God forbid I get a bogey. I hate bogeys. Like the last time I was gonna get a bogey, I just saved and quit. It's just almost like a rage quit in a way, but with a whole lot less rage. I screwed that shot up again. Gee, it's just I must have been lucky before, because now I'm sucking at this, which is pretty much par for the course, haha, <laughs> but anyway. When I say it's par for the course, I mean this is what usually happens to me when I do a playthrough of this game, because I did several See there it is again! At least I'm on the green. I guess it would have gone further if I had perfected it, and I guess that would have been bad. But yeah, that's what usually happens to me, is when I play through this game, I actually was using save states after every shot in my practice runs. So then I would mess up the shot, load the state, take the shot again, mess it up again. I messed it up like ten times in a row one time, and I couldn't believe it. <sighs> I'm at minus ten, though. That's pretty good. It's just so infuriating. The timing is simple stuff, but when you mess it up, I just find it to be really frustrating. See, there it is again! It's so frustrating! It's like I was slightly off both times. What gives with that? I mean, I guess it could be worse. But still, I'm a little bit mad. Ah! I'm getting worse at the game! You can see it happening before your very eyes. I started out really good, now I'm getting worse. Jeez. I'm, I don't mean to complain, but come on. I was doing better earlier. It's the truth. Oh my gosh, a chip in birdie. That's pretty good. Well, that redeems all the mistakes I made on those other shots. Oh boy, par three. Can we get a hole in one? Of course we can't. It's nearly impossible. It's even harder in Toadstool Tour. Because throughout my playthrough of the Game Boy Mario Golf on the original Game Boy, I got several holes in one. I think like three of them. But on Toadstool Tour, I've ever only gotten one hole in one one hole in one, because that's how it works. I feel like this putt's going to come up short, so I'm going to take a risk and use a longer range putt, so I can add a little extra power to it. Oh my gosh, I regretted that in every possible way. It bounced back. Ah, oh, fine. Just go in. It's like I like this game, but I hate this game at the same time. But it's definitely worthy of a let's play, don't get me wrong. I wasn't even sure how to handle this game, like what am I going to talk about while I'm playing? Same thing I always talk about. What I'm doing in the game, I suppose. Oh, please hit the hill and slow down. Oh, that's perfect! That makes me happy. I like that. That's good. We can't reach the green yet, can we? In theory, we could do that, but no. Not worth the risk. Let's aim right about here. Perfect. Perfect! There we go! That's the way I like it. Maybe if I recite the word perfect to myself as I swing, maybe I'll get it perfect every time. All the time, every single time. Would be fantastic. By the way, this is the last hole, so after this, the tournament's over. Thank goodness. I think I'm pretty much done with this tournament at this point. Oh gosh, please get close. Oh wow, look at all those hills. It's gonna be a tricky putt. But I'll take par if that comes down, if, if that's what it comes down to. The hill's not that steep, so we only have to adjust a little bit. And then give it all we got. Boom! Got a birdie for the last one. That's pretty cool. Final score? Minus 12. Really not bad. That's actually a really good score. Let's see how much experience we get for that. We get 146. Which allows us to level up, like, what, three times? Okay, only two times. Which is slightly... You know, I'm gonna increase my drive, maybe. This one doesn't even change when I... Fine. Going for a drive increase. Oh, can't handle that. Guess my shot's gonna be a draw for the moment. I can deal with that. I finally leveled up my drive once. I got three more yards on my drive. It's so hard to level up your drive. It'd really be better if it was five or ten yards at a time, but it's three! Anyway, 
A new champion has appeared at Marion Club today. Let's give it up for... Lemon! Lemons? Blech. I now present this trophy to Lemon. Congratulations, Lemon! So, you won Marion's Club Tournament, eh, Lemon? Great! But don't stop there. Keep your eyes on the prize. Yes, indeed. We have won the Marion Club Tournament, which is awesome, by the way. So, I believe it is time to explore the overworld a little bit. Let's see what we have here. The sign reads, don't forget, pick up after tee off. What is this? Tiny Tots Golf Grounds. Those darn kids. Balls everywhere. <laughs> balls everywhere. She's right, though. Won't anyone help me pick up these balls? Sure. I would love to help. Let me help you pick up your balls. Can you do me a favor? Yes. I want you to hit all these balls into that circle. See? Get them in the circle like this. You don't have to show me. I know what you mean. Oh, we have to take like 10 accurate shots or something. Well, <clears throat> this should be fun. But don't take too long, I'm pretty impatient. Oh, we have a time limit, we have like 10 seconds to take every shot. Let's just shoot hard and fast. Oh gosh, did I miss? I freaking missed. Oh, but you can putt. As long as you're still within the time limit. Okay, fine. That makes this a little easier. But we're basically playing speed golf at this point. Which I guess is cool. By the way, the timer pauses while the ball's in flight. They're not that cruel. So that makes this totally not impossible. Which is nice. Oops, I sank it in the hole. Now you have to run over here and pick it up anyway. Give me a six iron. I think that'll do me. Nice, a pro- Oh, what? It didn't go nearly as far as I thought it would. I think I misunderestimate the sand, the sand traps. I'll probably just get better at that. It'll probably help. 60-yard approach, about 45, slightly more, and there it goes. Bounce into the hole, baby. Or at least into the circle. Is it in the circle? It's not in the circle. That's all right. With a putt, we're in the circle. <laughs> I don't even care if I sink the ball, because you don't have to, which is nice. I'm hitting from the rough, so that should get cut short, right? Bounces there, and in the circle. Nice. It's exactly what I wanted. Next one. 60-yard approach, stop it right on 45, give us some topspin, and hit it. There we go. Oh, shoot! I have to do it again, it didn't go far enough. That's really weird. We're out of time, baby, that has got to be... Wow! I actually got it in with a pitching wedge, that's amazing. Okay, backspin, I think I'm gonna hit it too far. Oh, I was wrong. But we still have time to putt, so we're good. Boom. Skill. Oh, there's one more here. And this is harder, because it takes longer to take the shot. It didn't go nearly as far as it should have, though. We have one second. Please tell me it's going to land in a good spot. Oh my gosh, that was brilliant. Oh gosh, that's going to go horribly, I just know it. Wow, I lied. I don't know how that worked, but okay. One more putt and we're good. It's a bit sloppy. I'd rather do it on one shot, but hey, they give you more shots for this. Hit it, baby. Oh no, not the water. Crap. Mm, those are fine. I'll do the rest. Did I do good enough? We did it. Thank you so much. I don't even know how I won. I thought you had to get them all. You earned 50 EXP. Is that a level up? It's not a level up. It's good enough, though, I suppose. I wonder what else we have open. There's nothing here, is there? A large tree blocks the path. What a shame. We can't just step around the tree. That would be too smart. The sign reads, your challenge hit the target. I like a good challenge. Windy Valley Special Hole. Oh, this is going to be tricky. I just know it. I remember this being really hard. I'll acknowledge your skill if you hit the target from here. Um, then... Sure, let's do it, shall we? Dun, 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 dun. 
least there's not a time limit. I can kind of play around with my shot until I'm happy with it. Let's cut it short on purpose and perfect that part. Is that even going to go far enough? Probably not. Shoot. I'm aiming for the circle, man. That's what I wanted. Tch, today's golfers are pitiful. Let's try it again. Wow. I think the wind changes slightly every time. I'm not too sure, though. Well, I'm just going to give it full power and hope for the best. Wow, this is really hard. I aimed too far to the left and gave it a little bit too much power. So maybe this time... I won't be so hard on aiming away. Maybe I'll aim right above this, the sand trap or whatever. Things where I'll go. Right about there. And then... I was trying to get the shot slightly short, but I guess that's one way to do it. Please roll into the hole. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is crazy. This is actually a hard shot. I am pitiful, man. Just look at me go. Maybe if I give it some backspin. Oh shoot, what did I do? I pressed the wrong button again. Okay, I think we're good now. I think the reason I'm pressing B is because I was playing Toadstool Tour in that game. There's actually a reason to press B at the end of your shot if you're wanting to do like backspin and other stuff like that. You have to do it differently in that game. So you actually have to press B at the end of your shot, but here, it just cancels your shot is what it does. That's not useful here at all. Unless you really want to cancel your shot and start it over. That's actually sometimes useful, not gonna lie. No, I think that's the shot I want, is a slightly undercut it. Give it backspin, gauge the wind, and there's only 16 miles an hour winning this time. Oh, it's in the circle! Oh, it went too far! Wow. How do you do this? These golfers are pitiful. Well, I'm sorry. I am just so, so sorry that I'm too pitiful for your kind. I'll give it the backspin again. Oh. Please just work. Can it just work? Wow. The wind was stronger than I thought. It does change every time, because last time it was 16, this time it's 18. How many tries is this going to take? It's worth experience, so this is part of 100% in my opinion. The game doesn't really track 100% or give you anything for 100%, but I still like to do everything 100%. It's only 16 miles an hour this time. Okay, so with backspin and slightly undercutting it. Well, this still went too far last time, though, didn't it? Just going to do the same thing again. Getting closer, though, I think. Man, this is hard. I should use a club lower and cut my shot short, is what I should do. Let's aim right above the sand trap again. Oh, I didn't mean to press that. One club lower, but this time let's use topspin. And full power if we can. Maybe a three iron will do it. We've got topspins, so we can roll in. Still went too far, wow. It didn't even hit the target to begin with, the wind. I underestimated the wind? I thought last time it was pretty accurate, though. What did I do wrong? It's odd. It's really odd. How far down do I have to go to gauge this? Oh, it's this time it's 16 miles an hour, right? One club lower, and hit it. No, not backspin, topspin. I cut it short that time. That may actually help me, though. That might be what I need. Oh, no! What? This is way harder than it should be. I tell you what. Alright, one or two more times, and then maybe I'll come back to this later? It's crazy. Is this gonna work? Ah, Not enough power! It's not enough power! I'm giving her all she's got! Actually, I'm not giving her all she's got. I could be giving her more. Fine. Oh, it's 14 miles an hour this time. I wonder where you have to aim for that. Probably here. Let's see what this does. Jeez. Not even close. I get it, man. I get it that I'm pitiful. But can we just make this and call it a day? That'd be cool, man. Really cool. Jeez. It's always one of several spots. Ah, fine. I'm gonna keep trying this till I get it. I'm just, I'm so sorry. But there's gotta be a way to do this. Try full power and backspin. I wonder if that even matters. Okay, it kind of crossed part of the circle that time. There's gotta be a way to stop the ball inside that circle. I don't know why it's so hard. It's like you think with trial and error, you could either hit harder, hit softer, change your aim or something, because the wind is mostly the same each time. It changes a little bit, but it's always the same direction. Makes me not understand why we can't pull this off. That's gonna go too far. I didn't even want full power, but I got full power. Oh, it went right across the hole. That was perfect. Just needed less power. What? I don't understand. I thought I was aiming the same each time, too. That's what makes this kind of confusing. Now it's back up to 18 miles an hour wind. Okay, so undercut the power, okay? Do not hit full power. I've got to undercut it a little bit. And I use backspin. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Oh, so close. That's the closest I've gotten so far. But it's still not quite good enough. Okay, so I aimed in the sand trap. And this time top spin. Cut the shot short. No, don't mess that part up. Good grief, Grandma. That was perfect, though, the direction. You know, actually, that was completely perfect. It, the aim just wasn't correct. Like, the distance was perfect. And this is why I could never actually pull off a shot like this in an actual golf game, even in this game, because it takes me this many tries to do it. So what was I using, topspin or backspin? I think I decided on backspin in the end, right? I also messed up both parts of the shot, and the distance was perfect, but this time I perfected that part, and... Wait, what? It should have gone even further that time. Right? Today's golfers are pitiful. You're telling me, man. Because you've really got me stumped with this Windy Valley special hole. Because I know I've done this before, but it was trial and error last time, so this is not a huge surprise at all. 
Yeah, mess up both parts of the shot. That seems to be effective, actually. Because that one time it rolled. Huh. I feel like I'm doing almost the same thing each time and getting vastly different results. It's very strange. Yeah, right about there is where I should be aiming, right? So first it's not enough power, then it's too much power. Just the slight difference between that and... The difference between... Like, the difference on the hit meter between full power, which is too much, and not full power, which is not enough, is only, like, one hair. There's not any other positions in between I could be using. I could be using different clubs, though. Why not use a power shot with a different club? Just for poops. I don't even care if I mess up the shot. I only have to take one shot. It's like having one job and constantly messing it up. That's interesting, it landed there. Well, I'm gonna try that one more time. Four iron power shot, I think it was. Four iron power shot, gauge the wind, shoot again. This time no spin, just hit a straight shot. It's going too fast, isn't it? It's gonna bounce right over. Jeez. Should've used backspin, maybe. All right, one more time. That was a four iron power shot, gauge the wind. This time backspin. And the wind's different this time, so I guess I could get a different result this time from the same thing. Fudge! I got used to the 14 mile an hour wind and they changed it up. That's what makes this stupid. It's just freaking stupid is what it is. Nope. That didn't even reach the green. Well, you know what they say, the millionth time is the charm. Are you serious? You cannot be serious. Wow. Ugh! Just do it! Do it now! It doesn't help that my view is frickin' sideways. It really makes this feel weird. Oh my gosh! I finally got it! Are you serious? One half hour later, you're good for one so young! Dude, I'm not young, I'm like 29. Unless you're older than me, jeez. I'm thoroughly impressed by your golf skills. You earned 40 crappy experience points for that half hour of golfing you just did. Okay, seriously, the whole thing didn't take a half an hour, but shoot, it must have taken at least 15 minutes, I don't even know. Oh, looks like I get to level up one more time. Before we end, that is. Ugh, it's like, all these stats suck. I want, well, I guess the shot going higher is not so bad, but it does make it even more affected by wind, which is kind of annoying. It's like, do I straighten up my shot? Do I make my meat area perfect? Or do I increase my drive? I can never choose. Jeez, so hard. Fine, I'll increase the drive. This is, uh, this is not what I usually do, but... I'll increase the drive, though. I won't let the meat area get too much more crappy, though, and i probably straighten out my shot next time I have a chance. But anyway, keep up that pace and perfect your swing. Screw you, your challenge was stupid. That's it for now. This is the end of the episode. I've, I mean, this one is gonna be, like... Not, it's gonna be kind of annoying to edit, because I've got, like, literally 34 minutes to work with here, but it'll probably just be cutting out all those attempts on that stupid Windy Valley, Windy Valley special hole. Freaking stupid special hole. Anyway, I'm the Sporkinator. Thank you for watching, and may we meet again in the future.